Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rob Nelly here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to put videos on your R4i using uh, the, uh, yeah, the microSD and stuff. So you'll need a DSi, a uh, card reader, and a microSD chip. Um, so if this sounds weird, to cut off the video. I'm not sure if this works for Ace Card 2i yet. So first thing we're going to do is plug it into your computer. Alright, well, let's take it up for my screen recorder now. Okay, so here we go. Here's the file thing we'll need, this DPG encode. So I'll put this right here. It comes with also a few other stuff you might like to look, check out, like an R4DS ROM trimmer. So this is for the original R4. However, the file extension.dpg is also shared. So, yeah. So for this video, I made a folder in here called Movie. And I also made my own movie in Windows Movie Maker, like a two-second video. So it will convert fast. So right here, we're going to open that, and um, now it's going to ask us to select a video. Go to your, I'm going to go to my user profile, I'm going to go to videos, and, um, oh wait, sorry, I hit the wrong one. You want to go to DV, DPG encode, ENC. So right here, hit select, go to DSI.WMV, start. It's going to ask you where you want to save it, so right here I'm going to save it in my removable disk F or whatever. So, so, wow. so, whoops. so go to computer, and now go to removable disk F, and movie, save. So right here it's going to start encoding the, the sound to .mp2, encode, there's no sound in this video, just so you know. I mean, I could have put sound on, but here it gives you a preview of what it's doing. It's always lagging the preview, and it says encode was complete. So yeah, there we go. Now, right here in the movie folder, here it is. And now I'm going to switch back onto my real camera to show you the video. Um, so now that we're done with that, you can take it out of your computer, and we're going to take the micro SD chip. We're going to plug it back into. I'm going to hide the camera for a second. Just plug it in. Okay. Now I'm putting it in my DSi. I'm going to open it. You don't need this anymore. I've turned the DSi on. Tap the screen to continue and open R4 ISDH. See, sorry for my camera being choppy. It's that when I turned it into .wmv that it uh that it uh made it really fast, so I had to put some slowdown effects. So now it looks choppy. But normally the videos go a lot faster than this. So it says, yeah, yeah, DSi videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, normally there was a flip transition. I'm not sure why it's not showing. Yeah, there it is, right there. You can see it change. So if you skip, the screen gets some kind of weird, <laughs> like digital residue on it, which will go away when you uh when you actually um you know when you when it moves a lot, it'll move it away. So that was basically how to put videos on the RFRI. Uh, expect more RFRI videos soon. Um, yeah. So. Hmm. One last thing I forgot to tell you is in order to get the files I've showed you in this video, go to ios.info, log in using the username r4isdhc, the password is the same thing, and I will have a bunch of files, you just right click and hit download, if you have any videos and stuff you can post there, you can upload them there, it's basically my everyone can go there and access it server. So yeah, there's where all the things will be, so yeah, peace out.